Good evening, everyone. My name is Connor Cavanaugh. Um, I'm going to have to torch you for a little bit because it is about that time, dinner. I'm sure all of you guys are starving. Uh, I'm going to have to ask you to picture the most mouth-watering burger you can imagine, whether it's vegetarian or traditional hamburger, turkey burger, whatever. Just picture it in your head. Now, if it has anything on it, such as a lobster claw, or caviar, or something with 10 shades of the rainbow, then I hate to break it to you, but you've been tempted. Uh, tempted by what we in the industry call Instagram thoughts. <laughs> for those who don't know, Instagram thoughts actually stand for trash hamburgers online today. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, these are just I, I, I sh you can't even call them burgers, really. I mean, there's the lobster claw, the caviar. I think that's a bagel. It's not even a bun. I, just don't get me started on that one. That's just, it gets me. Yeah, that's wrong. I know. Uh, <laughs> for people in this uh, cult of appreciation, they call these Graham burgers. However, I like to call them what they really are. Trash. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> So I think it's important to define what exactly makes these things trash. I mean, some of those are obvious, but it's important to go over the fundamentals. For starters, <clears throat> the toppings. Way too often are these the feature of the burger and not uh, the complimentary piece as it normally should be, uh, evident by that monstrous lobster claw back there. Uh, secondly, the fundamentals. I know it's terrible, I, but I couldn't resist. Um, <laughs> I think the best way to say this is my appetite don't want none unless you got buns. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, lastly, and most simply, it should be edible. Um, I don't want a fork or knife, and I, don't, I shouldn't have to unhinge my jaw to eat these things. So in other words, if you have to ask where's the beef, or where's the bun, or just where do I begin, um, then I'm sorry, but you've been given a thought. <laughs> uh, so what exactly makes a burger so great? Well, it starts with the padding, the buns. If you don't have these two things, it's just not a burger. There's no way around it. Secondly, it's cheese. Um, I always go for it. I prefer American because I'm just not a communist. And then, of course, there's mayo, mustard, and onions. That's personal preference, however you like it. And then if you're feeling guilty about all of this, you can throw some lettuce and tomato on there and just call it salad. Uh, uh, where's that vision? I'm sorry. I did. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, I don't see tofu up there. It's true. No, it's just <laughs> um, they go together. So, in the end, it should give you a burger that looks something like this. It's a timeless, <coughs> traditional masterpiece that will continue to <coughs> satisfy people for generations to come. And it should, uh, it should leave an appreciation, uh, not by the likes that you find on Instagram, but by the likes of your stomach. And then you can say, begone to those thoughts. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Any questions? Why do you include monster claws in burgers? That's a great question. Uh, this was a bit last minute, so maybe next time. <laughs> All right, so your uh, your top three favorite burger places around here are? Well, see, the problem is I'm very particular. So that's a be particular. It's just my own kitchen. Okay, there, um, that's good. Number two, well, it depends on the type. But you of took burger. us there, so you're the expert, so yeah. we want to know okay. well, where do you off, go? If you want the best regular burger in town, you're going to have to pay a pretty penny for it because uh, you don't want to cheap out on the beef or anything. So uh, Ruth Chris has a great burger, surprisingly. I know people go there for the steak, but they have great burgers as well. But just go there during happy hour because their burgers are normally $18, but half off for happy hour. Can Can also has great burger. Uh, people have been talking about that one on um, the boulevard that opened up not long ago, but. Burger and Brew? Um, I 
think so. Go ahead, dear. Yeah, it, it's just the problem I have with most places is I want a good portion. I don't want if I'm paying good money, I want yeah. I want something to hold on to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's good. That's fun. All right, thank you very much.